Hi guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution and I'm here today to bring you a monthly message for the sign of Pisces for love and soul connections. So keep in mind it's a general message. Take what you feel resonates for you and your situation. Disregard the rest, my friends. Go about today, but know that no matter what messages do come through today, it's still up to you and your active free will, the choices you make and the steps you take in this world, my friends, to get whatever fulfillment it is you'd like to see. To me, that's personal freedom, personal power, and it lies at the tips of our fingers and the soles of our feet. So use that power to do wisely, my friends. For all my subscribers, thank you guys for being here. I love you, love you, love you from the bottom of my heart. You truly mean the world to me. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. If you feel like this resonates and you'd like to see more of this, please hit subscribe join the journey with me I'd love to have you along this ride so guys know that while I am calling this message in for March 2021 time is fluid so this may be picking up on something that's already happened something that you are currently dealing with or something that's not yet happened so take it how it applies for you and keep an open mind my friends as well as I'm just going to take a moment before we get in to the reading I'm going to call in Archangel Michael Archangel Raphael Angel Gabriel, as well as I'm going to ask any of your spirit guides who would be here for the highest good of the entire collective to join. I'm also going to call on my team of light and ask them all to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself, this reading, and any of you guys who would ask for it, to use me as the clearest channel possible, and delivering messages that are only for the highest good of those of us watching. So, happy birthday for all the Pisces, all you guys watching. Happy birthday if you're born in March, and happy belated birthday if you're born in February. I hope that you had a wonderful day and you were celebrated for all that you are. So, what I'm going to do when we get into this reading is I'm going to pull three different piles of cards. So, I'm going to pull a pile for you and your energy, a pile for your love or soul connection or love interest, and then a space in between, kind of like the yin and the yang that we have, the black, the white, the space in between, not necessarily focusing on the other side, the other parts of it. But first, I am going to start off today with the, um, oh my gosh, a Psychic Tarot Oracle to just get a little bit of an energy check-in on how you're feeling, how they're feeling, and what's going on in between. Now know as well that this energy could be flipped I could be what I'm calling your energy could actually be the person that you're interested in. So before we get into the cards, I just want you guys to take a few minutes with me. Let's take deep breath in a couple. We'll take three and think about a situation, your person, your partner or your love interest and what you'd like to know. And hopefully those messages come through. One more, guys. All right. So Pisces 2021, can you tell me, please, Spirit? Okay. So for your energy, we have transformation. And a lot of decks, this is Scorpio as well, um, as well as the death card. But this is about changing and transforming. You guys actually might be going through something um, pretty life-changing at this time. Let's find out more about the Pisces. How are they feeling currently in regards to this situation or this love connection or soul connection, please? Can you tell me more about the transformation that they're undergoing, please? Thank you. So two cards fell out, and we have victory and success, which is wonderful. And we also have memories of love, which is the six of cups. For a lot of you, I feel like you're focusing a lot on your energy, transforming where you need to, and doing the things that you need to do to bring victory and success into your world. And I think this is an extra little thing from Spirit going, hey, whatever you're working on. Spirit's got your back. They're helping you to accomplish it. I think as well, a lot of you, what I'm heard is what I'm hearing, not what I'm heard. What I'm hearing is you may have been focusing on your career a little bit. And now as well, while you've transformed and blossomed into that beautiful butterfly that you are, you're bringing back energy of love to you. This could be love for yourself. This also could be sit I heard stalemate, but it could be soulmate energy with the Six of Cups. But I also think it's interesting because they're releasing this light into the world. It's kind of like, well, I love you, right? And I'm going to show that love. I'm going to put that love on top of this water. And whenever it gets to you, it gets to you. I also heard there could be something like a long distance relationship here. The stalemate term keeps coming up. So 
Let's get a little bit more clarity on the stalemate. Can you tell me what is this energy I hear about the stalemate? Thank you. Shadow aspects. So for some of you guys, and this again could be vice versa, this could be the person that you're dealing with, there are some blocks into feeling the success because this shadow energy or the energy that we have to work on ourselves or the things that we feel that need to be transformed, if there's past relationships that cloud our vision into this one, this is the kind of stuff that we're working on right now, trying to, um, trying to balance out positive and the negative and balance out our shadow aspects and this kind of stuff doesn't mean it's bad doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you we all have shadow aspects and I feel like this month guys it's really important to transform to let that shadow energy help you to see where you need a little bit of healing so that you can accept whatever victory and success it is that's coming to you and really as well whatever reunion is coming to you because I feel like um, there may be, I heard, like a second chance with another person as well. If this, if you've already been in relationship with another person and, you know, there's been a split or a break, working on yourself and really transforming, I feel like they also may be doing this as well. Like there may be some mirrored energy here, but we'll find out. But whatever you do, whatever work you do on yourself, regardless of another person, it's going to bring you back closer to your center and closer to who you are. And I heard also like to understand a little bit more the meaning of life. So let's find out about your person, please. Can you tell me about Pisces love or soul connection, please? Um, also, they're, they're reminding me to tell you a soul connection it could be a family member, a friend, a parent, a sibling, um, a child. So just keep it... Um, an open mind on this as well but let's find out can you tell me about the soul connection for Pisces I think that they're going through a lot right now and a lot of mental conflict here this is the two of swords in the regular tarot which is about making a decision but I feel like they may be up in their head too much about something which is also when I heard stalemate could be what's happening because you know, especially if this is talking about a reunion with a past love and then thinking about coming back or, you know, I heard even some of you could be on a break. Um, the, your person is really considering, I've heard like the ups and the downs, the positives, the negatives and how they fit in and not just how they fit into your life, but how they fit into what they're going through in their life. And I think some of them may have had to take a step back from their relationship with you just to put themselves first. And I heard for once because your person may be an overgiver. They may be somebody who is always... I heard willing to chip in and willing to help, whether it be financially or be their actual energy, their physical labor. And they need some time, I think, to kind of center themselves and get back to who they are. That's a lot. All right. So I'm going to take them. They have light, fertility, sacral chakra, love begins. And they're telling me to take this card too, which was passion ignited. So that's really wonderful energy though, to be honest, because first off, I'm going to start with the fertility and with the sacral chakra, because for some of you guys, there may be babies. They may be, um, depending on this, like, and you can switch the roles and you may even find that your energy actually comes, you find it over here too, or you find it in both areas. That's completely fine. But, um, I heard like some of them may, there may be a pregnancy. They may want to have children. There's something that they're working on though. Something, um, that they are trying to do something they're trying to create and it may be that they're trying to create more passion with you they want more passion with you they want more love and excitement in their life and whatever they are pouring their energy into it's coming from a place of the heart and you also have love begins here which is pretty beautiful energy and i definitely feel like something that will be pulling you back together with your victory and success and this new love for some of you and this is a very small few for some of you this person may actually have moved on um, and this is the place where I feel like the shadow aspects and transformation on your side are really strong and bringing love back to yourself because if they've moved on, it's really difficult sometimes to accept that things weren't really meant for us, that this relationship wasn't here to stay. And sometimes it's her, I also heard like we romanticize or glorify this relationship because we miss it and we love them and we want them back. So we forget 
all of the bad things and all of the red flags that ever happened. And I think that with this, your the shadow energy on your side, and again, like I said, it could be vice versa, but with whatever the shadow energy is, I think the most important thing for you guys is to focus on your own healing and your own transformation and to focus on the victories in your life. Now, for those of you that this person hasn't moved on and you are still in relationship, I think that their conflict, it may even be over children. They may be thinking about, do I want to have kids? Do I want to um, raise babies as well with this fertility? But I also think that whatever's happening in their mental space, whatever's happening in their thoughts, there's a lot of um, action behind it or plans for action that they're thinking about. How can I take action? How can I, um, I also heard glorify this situation, but how can I bring new life to this? And there also maybe I heard like some sexual passion. There may be um, that this person is more focused on the physical connection and wanting to rekindle that kind of fire with you. The light here as well is important because I feel like this person as well is finally starting to realize or they may have realized it for a while but to me this feels like it's a, it's a new thing. The light that they possess. The actions that they take as well and the repercussions that it has and I think this person is finally trying to stay in the light trying to honor their light and try to really understand it they're telling me to give you a little bit of a reading from this book and I absolutely will with number 19 of the light it says this card reassures you that this is your time to be in the light no matter what's happening around you prosperity and bliss are promised the qualities of this brilliant card are pleasure, happiness, contentment, growth, success, joy, and illumination. The light always brings forth new birth, which I think could be this fertility, a constant renewal of life. This is one of the best, if not the most positive cards in the deck, and it's yours. So this is also considered the sun, so the success card, which to me, you have victory and success and your partner has success. And that's really wonderful because whatever's being created, you may even be creating this together. There's a lot of life to it. And I think that your partner is currently feeling a huge renewal of energy, a huge renewal of love for themselves, of love for life. And I'm, I heard in love for you. So I think while on your side, there's a lot of focus on the transformation, right? And to clearing out that shadow energy and balancing out I heard our masculine and our feminine energies and dealing with the shadows so that you can experience this love. I heard her, yep, yeah, do it quickly because they're ready for this relationship to move forward and they're ready to excite and ignite some new passion. Like I, like I said before, many of you may be even having children. So what is the space in between the shared energy piece to be aware of spirit? What is the shared energy for Pisces? Thank you. You get the universe. And Spirit said, you see this card? I'm going to take it. Out. It's just deception and energy, or deception and envy. And we have the universe. So the universe here, I'm going to turn down deception and envy. The universe here is important because the universe is putting you both through some tests. They're asking you both to learn some lessons. And I think you're both going through the shadow energy. You've got the shadow and transformation and your person has mental conflict. And I think that especially when we're going through new stuff or we're wanting to ignite new energy or new passion, we're thinking, how do I do this? How do I do this ethically? How do I do this grounded? And how do I do this so that it's going to not only benefit me, but my partner and be for the highest good of everybody involved in this situation? So I feel like it's really important to acknowledge that there is a universal flow of energy, that the universe is going to bring us energy, be it through solar flares, be it through the stars, the moon energy, whatever it is, they're bringing energy here so that as a whole and as a collective on this earth, we can rise up and rise above challenges. And I think it's really important for you guys to use that energy, harness it so that it can be for your own good and personal power. This envy and deception, I feel like it could have been within the relationship. There could be why there's shadow of things that need to be fixed or why there's mental conflict on both sides. And again, like I said, I think that there's some mirroring happening here as well. I heard defensiveness. This, this, 
doesn't even necessarily mean that somebody actually physically lied. It could be that someone wasn't being truthful with themselves, that they weren't able to see the truth in themselves either, or that there were possibly red flags and the the need or want to be within this relationship was so strong that they were denied or ignored. So they're telling me to take the bottom of the deck as well, which is material and spiritual prosperity. As well as I think because the partner or this soul interest, soul connection is finally coming into the light and realizing their light and realizing the power of that light and the success that's here as well. This is also where there is material and financial gain coming or spiritual material. This material could be, like I said, financially. It could also be like a new home. Um, I think as well as grounding this relationship so that it's stable and there's nothing false. I heard some of there could have been like false accusations as well. Um, and again, I feel like the mental conflict could swap both ways because the shadow energy, that's really what it could be. And I feel like as well, this could just be not trusting ourselves. So can you tell me one more card to discuss the deception, please? And you get the spiritual growth. For some of you, it may have been that the deception was just choosing to ignore the spiritual side of your relationship, choosing to ignore your own spirituality, um, or as well as there could have been a little bit of envy or jealousy that, you know, we feel like we have so much to work on and the other person doesn't. Um, that may not resonate. I think that if there has been deception within the relationship, you know about that. But I think as well as going through this process, as well as I heard is learning the process of forgiveness, that's helped you to grow as an individual and you're both growing, right? There could have been deception on both sides and this could even be just, I heard failure to acknowledge our own forthcomings and our own misgivings and the places where we weren't the best to each other and I feel like through this relationship it could even be a separation of wanting to come back together and wanting to renew this but whatever process you guys are going through I feel like spiritual growth is something that is working for both of you guys so as well as um, I heard the couple that grows together stays together be really open and be honest with each other and know that you're not going to be the same person you were when you first met depending on how long that you've been together we all grow and if we are the exact same we're just stagnant so this is grow express your love nourish your love because there's a whole huge what I heard is bounty for you guys and that's both within the same energy and the bottom this is twice now they're saying look at the bottom where this is root chakra, but very, very grounded and stable, that there's prosperity happening materially and spiritually, and spirit has definitely shown us that here as well. And also, the material harvest, that it's time, and I think that this is either you guys coming together, I also heard marriage, this could be babies as well, but I'm gonna keep that card, and under that was new beginnings, because the universe is ready. I think they've said, you know what? We put you through enough hell, it's time for you guys to come together and experience some joy in this world. So remember on your side, there is victory, success. There is reunion of hearts. There is beautiful energy here. Once you move through your shadow energy, so keep reminding yourself that this is worth it. And on your partner's side as well, I feel like they're going to get over whatever mental conflict it is. It's just more how, like logistics. How does this work? So I'm going to ask a message now from the Romance Angels Oracle for Spirit for Pisces. Thank you. And you get flirt. Spirit's reminding you to keep it lighthearted. Sometimes when we start working on our, 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 I heard spiritual energy, but our shadow stuff, it is all encompassing and engulfing. And Spirit's saying keep it lighthearted. Flirt with your partner. Flirt with the people you're interested in. Extend your lighthearted energy to others because also I feel like on your partner side They're looking for some creativity. They're looking for some fun and some passion Keep it light is what I'm hearing. Can you tell me what else for the Pisces side please spirit? What other information or guidance do you have for the Pisces side here, please? Thank you And you get retreat this may be a time for you to keep to yourself they might be like little flirty text messages it may also be getting away together disconnecting from the world like on a honeymoon and taking some time away from all the stresses of life and just 
you know, spending a weekend together, no distractions, turn your cell phones off, and just be together. So they are saying one more card, please, for the Pisces. One more card is advice. It's too many. One more card is advice for Pisces, please. Thank you. Okay, so they're going to remind me because they flipped two in the deck and they threw one very soon. Figure out what you want and it will come to you very soon. There is victory. There is success. The other two that came out was release your ex. So this time, the time has come to clear your energy. I feel like you're already doing that with this transformation and releasing the shadow. This could fig like literally be an ex and you're, you're calling it a new relationship and having to really release um, all the burdens or the past of that relationship before you step into a new one so you're not carrying all that baggage. This also could be just releasing the negative energy, releasing the stuff that's no longer, um, I heard remnants. So the stuff that's no longer meant for this relationship or no longer resonates with you it's time to release it. So figuring out what you want, figuring out what you don't want, releasing what you don't want so that there is space for the universe to bring something new to you. As well as past life relationship, I feel like you know this relationship, you've met this person before, and I was really guided to bring the past life oracle in, so I will use that as well. But you have known each other before. I feel like if you're going to feel a really strong connection with this person, right, and it's on a spiritual level as well, this person has been in your life before and they're here to teach you lessons potentially. It may be a forever thing. It may be like, where have you been my whole life? I've been searching for you. And I feel like for that, for that energy to come in, we have to release what is no longer serving us and keep your energy lighthearted, my friends, so that you're not, um, you're not calling in heaviness as well. So let's find out here about the love connection or soul connection, please. Thank you. This person, I think, is learning to trust. Both of, on both sides, the space in between deception was an issue. They could have had that in a past relationship. There could have been as well in a past situation with you guys, just depending on how this is. That trust is, this situation is calling you to have faith. It's calling you to trust. And I think as well on their side, it's calling them to trust their own ability to make a decision. Because some people, I think, don't trust themselves to do that. And you also have codependency on the love interest side. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, which could also be why it's difficult for this person to make a, a concrete decision or make a choice or why they have a little bit of conflicted energy. For me, when I heard codependency as well, again, it could be drugs, it could be alcohol, it could be food, it could be exercise, it could be something that they have. Oh God, what's the word? distracted themselves with but it also could just be a tendency to get lost to lose themselves in relationships and this time they don't want to do that right like they want to remain whole and remain themselves and the two of you come together within a partnership rather than this person on the other side too I said I I, I said that I felt they were givers. They gave and gave and gave and gave, right? And people may have taken this for granted or even I heard manipulated their energy. So this also is where if they've had issues like that in the past, that is a kind of codependent behavior as well. Being a giver, there's always going to be a receiver. And if someone gets too stuck in that dynamic, it can be pretty unhealthy. And we have your trust that this person, I think, is really learning to trust and needing to trust that this situation is going to be different than what they've had in the past. They're telling me to take the bottom, which is reconciliation. And that's gorgeous because you have the Six of Cups over here too, which is also reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Can you tell me about the shared energy, please? And you have chemistry, absolutely. friggin There's a magnetic chemistry between you guys. That's why we are here. There's a spiritual connection. The universe is bringing this together. And I feel like it's going to bring this together when the time is right. So yes, there is a strong magnetic attraction. This is a past life for you. And we have on the bottom heart-to-heart -heart conversations. <laughs> and true love with it's safe for you. So have trust and have faith in this situation. 
It is safe for you. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. I was shuffling the Mermaid Oracle, and I was not sure how many decks to bring in for this, to be honest. And feelings is one of the things that came out when I was pre-shuffling. So I think it is important for you guys to make sure you're honestly discussing your feelings. We have the trees here as a past life issue. This could be that you were a tree person, that you spent lives as a tree watching the surroundings. But I think this is also reminding us to bend. Move with the wind, don't be so rigid, right? Some of us as well, this is get outside into nature, breathe in the trees, listen to the sounds of those trees as well. You tell me about the love, interest, or soul connection, please. You also have Atlantis here for the soul connection or your love interest. I feel like as well, for some of you, your your love interest may be dealing with stuff, past life stuff, or trauma is what I heard, that comes from the time of Atlantis. There may be a feelings of safety and security that aren't quite there as well as what I heard, and that could be trust kind of relating to trust issues there's a lot of great cards here there's a lot of great cards this person wants something i heard magnificent with you they want to create something they want new passion and with this atlantis card what i'm i'm just drawn to the fall of atlantis that it happened quick it happened unexpected and there was really not much they could do so your person in terms of having trust issues it could kind of stem back to a past life so the shared energy, please, is authority figures. And they want me to show you the bottom of the deck, which I also saw when I was shuffling, was Celtic. Some of you guys may have Celtic roots. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I'm filming on the 16th. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. So some of you may have Irish roots. Others of you, this is, I heard the Celtic knot as well, that your souls have been intertwined. And there may be, um, for both of you, this may include marriage. This may be that you have legal issues outside of this connection, or it could be kind of with, on your side, releasing the past, releasing your ex, it literally could be um, needing to release a relationship or a marriage so I'm going to bring a message here quickly for you from the whispers of love Oracle on how on your side you can help foster more love in your world please there's a lot here so let's see it says the only thing that is real is love shift your focus from the problem back to love and I feel like with your transformation your shadow work absolutely rather than looking at you know all of the work that you have to do or your shadow stuff shift it back to love because this is where we're going to find our success and our victory be willing to express love right absolutely when we express love we begin to receive more love ask for help if you need it it says what you really want or what do you really need help with be willing to allow yourself the support you need and the bottom is love who you are first and foremost because when we love us people can tell and we have a shine we shine differently and people are attracted to that light so you are a divine and wonderful person deserving all the wonderful things that life has to offer don't forget that my friends because if you don't treat yourself like that it's pretty hard to expect someone else to but not only that you're showing them that it's okay if you treat me bad because I don't treat myself like I'm worthy and as well as if someone else is going to love us and treat us they can treat us like a wonderful princess or prince and if we don't love ourselves enough we're not going to see that they're actually being really good to us so can you tell me about the soul connection please Thank you. And the soul connection side is focus on love. Look for the good attributes in every person and situation in your life. And I think that that's what they are doing. They're learning to trust. They want something new. And they are focusing on love rather than focusing on the negative. And the space in between for the shared energy, magical unicorn, embrace your emotions absolutely i think you're both working on this don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions let them come this is absolutely a spiritual connection this relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime we already know that with the past life and take a chance on love when we start to love our lives are changed forever take a chance my friends 
trust that everything's going to work out and I heard you're different this time. So if there's been issues in the past or relationships, now is the time for victory and now is the time the universe is bringing you guys together to share. I heard more loyalty, more trust and to create something new together. So that's the message I have for you guys. The bottom of the deck they want me to show you is love makes a difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. And I hope that that all resonates with you guys. If you want to leave a comment to let me know if it does, I'd love to hear from you. If not, that's okay, my friends. I hope you have a great month, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.